ball at your own house and stop screwing up this team. Speaking of screwing up teams, that leads me to my in Bloomington topic. And there's not a whole lot going on here during the summer. Obviously, all the collegiate sports are wrapped up. But the basketball team has finally come in for summer school classes. And that includes the freshman recruits. Most notably, Tom Crean's probably biggest recruit, Victor Oladipo. And I was looking at Twitter the other day, being the socialite that I am, and I saw that someone had retweeted something that Vic had posted, and it was in Bloomington where the party's at, or something along that line. I I don't have it word for word, so sorry I'm not quoting him directly. Uh, Don't come at me if I got it wrong, and I'm not trying to scar the kid's image or anything, but it was something along that line that wasn't good for the basketball program. And I've been I've been a freshman here. I know how it is. You get down to school and you're ready to be a part of what's considered one of the best party schools in the nation. But what Vic's got to look at is that he's also on a basketball team that was scarred by the party kind of, you know, thuggish image that the team had a few seasons ago. And look, I understand. Parties are fun. And it's not that I don't expect him not to go. I think he should. I mean, it's part of college life to be a part of the parties. Maybe he shouldn't drink, but he could be, you know, he can be there. He can enjoy the social life of Indiana. But he's got to keep in mind where this program was and kind of keep himself under the radar of what's going on on campus. Vic has the opportunity to be a really solid player on this team. So he's got to decide if he wants to be, you know, looked at in regard as a Jay Guyton type player, not saying that Vic's going to be an All-American and Big Ten Player of the Year and all that, but, you know, that type of, every IU fan loves and respects him or does he want to be you know like a DeAndre Thomas or Marcus Ellis all those players who were part of the program a few seasons ago that kind of tore it down to the point where Tom Crean was playing with the guys that he could find at the SRSC and Hyper which are our two uh, basketball uh, locations where pretty much any student can go play there So, Vic's got to keep his head where it's supposed to be. He needs to understand he's here to play basketball and get an education, which is free, so he shouldn't want to go screw that up and get a drinking ticket or, you know, get caught with anything or screw up his grades. He needs to keep his head in the books and on the court and then still, you know, add in that social aspect that he can get at school. Go enjoy your summer, kid, you know, But stay safe, man. This is IU's program. We're gaining a lot of talented pieces. It's not time to screw it up now. I think it's time to hit the gym and not the floor of your dorm room from passing out from too many drinks. I think Aladipo will get it in check. I think he's putting himself around the right people. He's hanging out with Mo Creek, it looks like, and other guys on the team that are down here. So there's a lot of good kids on this team. I think that eventually he'll decide that, yeah, We need to help this school get back to where they were, get back to their glory days. Probably not going to get another banner anytime soon, but, you know, at least give us a respectable team that everyone will love to cheer on. That's all I got today, guys. Kind of a long podcast. It's because I haven't talked in a whole long time. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Again, I'm on Twitter. It's A Sheer Sport Cuts for those who want to hear any of my random commentary throughout the week. I think I'm going to start an actual blog where I can post articles and stuff throughout the week just to kind of inject opinions because these videos are a little hard to put up and make time for whereas I have more time to write short little blurbs throughout the week. So stay put for those. I'll post something about that in my next one. Probably start doing this about every Monday. So just keep looking, keep watching. Thanks for your time. Hope you guys come back. Again, I'm Adam Shear, and I hope you enjoyed A Shear Sport Cuts.